Hello, and thanks for choosing Vengage. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Vengage and help you get started. Once you sign into Vengage, select Create Infographic. Right now, I'm just scrolling through some of the templates that are offered on the tool. You can access a wider range if you choose to upgrade to the premium account. But even with the free account, you still have access to quite a few of our templates. And of course, you can always start from scratch and create your own. I'm going to start out by creating a template to work with. Let's try out the Getting Started template. We're going to take this simple and follow all of the steps that are listed. Well, the first step is adding and editing text. This is really straightforward. All you need to do is find the text dropdown on the left hand panel. The great thing is everything on this tool is drag and drop. So just drag the text style you want into your editing canvas. I'm going with the title format. Double click on your text and type in whatever your heart desires. You can change the font style, color and size from the drop down menus at the top of the editing page. Step two is icons. So we're gonna go to the left sidebar again and click on the icons drop down. There are a lot of different icon groups, so go nuts searching through all of them. Let's go to the people and emotions drop down and find a smiley face. Okay, now let's resize this by dragging on the corners. And at the top bar, we can just select the color button and change the icon to green. Step three is charts. Now we're stepping up our game a bit. Once again, we're going to go to the Charts drop-down on the left sidebar. I'm going to use this pie chart. Now, according to the instructions in this template, we are going to double-click and change the value for July to 60 and the color to green. Easy, isn't it? I'm also going to get rid of this legend. Oh, and don't forget to save your settings. Okay, next is changing background color. Let's make the background a light gray color. It's the last tab on the left sidebar, and it's the one that says, you guessed it, background. Super simple, just move the cursor around until it's the right shade of gray. You can also change the opacity if you want to add texture. The last step is sharing and publishing your infographic. At the top right hand corner of your canvas, you have publishing and sharing options. So you can tweet out your infographic to all of your friends. You can also view a digital copy of your infographic that can be embedded on websites. I like this view the most because some features, like maps and charts, are animated, and our latest interactive features let you engage with your infographic when you use polls, forms, or embed videos into it. Finally, you can publish your infographic to the community page. To see the community page, just go to the Vengage landing page by clicking Vengage at the top of the screen. Then go to Community. Your post should be the first one there, and everyone can view it. You can also scroll through the other pages to see what other people have created. And that's a wrap! Now go make some infographics! <laughs>